Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we will paint Rebellion and Dandan's hands. Without further ado, let's get to painting. We will start from the hands and base all skin with Bugman's glue. Afterwards, we will cover all painted skin with KDN Flesh Tone. Making a one-to-one -one mix of Cadian Flesh Tone and Kislev Flesh, it is time to start highlighting the skin. Carefully as not to paint over the finished areas, we will use grey sear in order to paint the bandages which protrude from the gloves. With Kislev Flesh, we will add details to the skin. It is time to paint the gloves now. We will do this using Rhinox Hide. As the area is small and we have already painted around, take your time in order to avoid any mistakes. Once the Rhinox dries, we will shade the gloves with Null Noi. Shade the bandage as well. On the arm which does not hold the Rebellion, with Leviathan Blue, we will paint the small area that is an extension of the shirt. Finally, we are going to make a one-to-one -one mix of Bugman's Glow and Cadian Flesh Tail and paint the nails on both hands. With the hands done, we will now move to the Rebellion. Let's paint the blade with Iron Hand Steel. For the handle, as well as the skeletal part, we will use two layers of Rune Lord Brass. In case you overpaint on the blade, fix it with Iron Hand Steel. Now that the sword has its base colors done, we will shade it using Nuln Oil. Allow it to pull in the recesses, but not excessively. Going back to the blade to highlight it, we will use Iron Hand Steel again and highlight the edges and the center of the sword, since those are the two places the light will hit directly. A second highlight will be done over some of the highlights we just did. This time, we will use Stormhost Silver and target mainly the middle part of the highlights. Returning to the skeletal effigy and the handle, and reusing Runelord Brush, we will highlight the raised areas. Do be careful not to paint in the recesses. Afterwards, with Canoptech Alloy, we are going to add details over the brass on all raised areas and all flat areas that the light will hit. The result should be similar to what is on your screen. If you found this video helpful, help me back by smashing the like button. All colors used are on your screen now. I was Miniature Ursus. Thank you for watching and I will see you on the next one.